gender. We already know that we have unequal access, unequal you know, rights between men and women. But the danger also that we live with, which we need to understand, is the fact that even with it, among the women, there are different categories of women. And that is where the issue is, which we need to understand very well. Now, if you talk about women, rural women versus urban women, there is some difference. Literate women versus illiterate women, we have differences. Then we have um, the rich and the poor. We have poor women, we have rich women. And each category of this have different needs and they understand and see corruption in the land sector differently. The access they have to land also varies depending on where they find themselves in this category. And therefore, all women are not the same. As a city, are completely different from the woman we are really here talking about. And unfortunately, they are not here. Okay, so which women are we talking about? And I guess the women that we are talking about are the poor who have the least access, uneducated, and in the rural communities. So invariably, we are talking about the marginalized group of women. So their issues are complex, difficult, and their understanding and effect of corruption with regards to land is also different. Now, when we say corruption, land corruption, what do we actually mean? What is it that they suffer from? <laughs> they, they suffer from multiple you know, buying processes. They suffer from titling because they don't understand, they don't know who to go to. And yet, these are the very people that are behind the food security, food production, and all the economic activities that even the other people enjoy. So these are the critical mass that we should be concerned with. But then they lack the information and therefore they suffer most the land corruption we are talking about. And as I said, the land corruption comes in different forms, but it has to do with their inability to assess land to be able to do the kind of things we, we expect them to do in terms of food security, economic activities, and protection of the families. Now, with all this and what they go through through corruption, they don't even trust the elite. They don't trust the rich because they are the very people in the offices that, you know, perpetrate the kind of things we do. They are the very people you have to go and pay double money to, to have access to a piece of land. They are the very people who change your land title and cheat you. And so even the trust that these people have for the elite is eroded. So we have this group of people that have virtually nothing to fall on and therefore live by the mercy of the rich, the elite, and the urban people, urban women and men, you know. So they are the core that we should be interested in.